So I recently had a vacation down in Navarre, Florida. Excellent place to go, by the way, if you've never been. And I had some time to get away from my business, to get time out from working in my business, and some time away to think about working on my business. I spent a ton of time reviewing podcasts and YouTube channels of successful business coaches, managers, YouTube channels of people who run very successful businesses and kind of gleaning on their insight to kind of help me analyze my business, to work on it, to improve prove it. I've got some exciting things coming down the pike that I'm going to share with you later. But one of the things that really stuck out with me that kind of encapsulates what we're going to be talking about today is everybody wants to know like what one thing can they do to improve their results selling final expense. And I think I legitimately have the answer and it's something that's not going to sound like a big deal, but it truly absolutely is because elevating this or even 10 xing this, if you will, this, this one character trait, this attribute is going to have a much more profound impact than even the skill skill set of sales development that I wholeheartedly as being very important. This doesn't mean I'm throwing out sales skills and closing and opening and pre-qualifying. All that is very, very important, but it cannot be stated uh, that it's it's as important as about what I'm about to describe. So let me set this up for you. So, so first of all, I'm gonna tell you what it is, how I came across it, and try as best as possible to get you guys to see how to implement this kind of, of mentality of this attribute into your business, whether you're an agency owner or an agent yourself, because without this one thing, you're not going to succeed in this business. And by having this one thing, you're going to be able to get through the upsides and downsides of the business that much more. And that one thing is conviction. Now, conviction is what everything hinges upon in your success in the business. And all conviction really is, is your strong belief or persuasion of your thought process of what it is that you're doing. So if you're a convicted final expense agent, the idea by definition is that you truly believe in what it is that you're doing to the point where you know confidently that is a great thing and it absolutely helps people in their life. I highly recommend that you guys subscribe to the channel Alex Hormozzi. I watched a video about him talking about this topic and it kind of just set everything into place for me that I've slowly kind of been realizing over the course of my business as being that conviction is so profoundly important and how it makes such a measurable impact on your business. And we're gonna talk about how and why that is the case and what steps you can take to implement conviction training into your business. I'm going to talk about how we do it at DeFord Insurance Group. So here's how Hermosi basically describes conviction training. You have two variables that the output, the equation, is your total sales capability, right? You have your skill sales set on one hot side, you know, your ability to follow the script, your closing techniques, you know, what you do in your script. And then you've got your conviction variable. The difference between your sales skill set and your conviction skill set is the amount that you can fine tune and improve those in the impact that it has. So let's say that you can have a maximum skill set capability of 20. Your conviction level and its impact therefore on your outcome is scalable up to 100. So you may have a maximum skill set variable of 20 and you may be totally dialed into your script, you're following it perfectly, but you lack conviction, you lack belief, you don't really care about what it is that you do. So your ability on a conviction level is maybe a 10. So your total output 20 times 10 is 200. But what if you turned up that conviction level to 50? And even if your skill set was just a 10, well, 10 times 50 is 500. So in this example, you can have a better total capability of being successful selling final expense and overcome the lack of skill set that you have just in sheer willpower and belief in what it is that you do and how it helps people. So bottom line, conviction is what really makes or breaks you as an agent. Even if you're well-trained, if you just lack belief and you lack conviction, it's going to show in your lack of success and you're just not going to do that well than if you actually believed in the stuff that you're selling and knew that it made an impact. So the real X factor for us agency owners is learning how to train conviction. And this is something, again, I've picked up from Hermosi on how to implement into my business. So a couple of things I think that are really important. Number one, one of the changes I'm making in my agency is actually instilling regular training on building the agent's mindset and building their conviction level in themselves. Bottom line, you guys as agents take shit all day long. 
hate to say it that way, but it's true. You're constantly getting rejected. You're getting the door slammed in your face. You're getting the phone slammed down in your ear. You're hearing no a lot more than the few yeses you get. And it's wonderful that you hear yeses. But if you're a normal agent, you're going to run into circumstances to where you hear no's for long stretches. And as all of us who've been in the business a long time know, it's managing the head game up here that makes the difference in your capability to succeed long term. So in our regular daily training, I'm adding conviction based training to remind agents that they're the good guys, that they do well by others. We're going to talk about things and are talking about things related to keeping their spirits up, to making sure that they understand that the good work that they do makes a great impact. We're also asking agents to share their war stories about how they overcame adversity and still made the sale. And it's my belief with this preponderance of proof and stories from other agents like these new agents that agents will continue to see, yes, people are being successful. Yes, they are having the same adversity and difficulties I have, but they're overcoming it. And this kind of constancy of being shown evidence of success and positive mindset is going to have a positive net influence on the aggregate of agents and get them selling more and believing themselves more because, well, everybody's doing it. And it's something that, you know, none of these people are superhumans or experience the same things. And that kind of relatability, I think, is going to go the extra mile and making sure that that original conviction we all had when we start is still maintained, is still being strengthened, and is still there each and every day, even when things get tough. Ladies and gentlemen, conviction truly is where it's at. If you lack conviction and belief, I don't care how well you follow the script, you will fail. So you need to take some time, first of all, to think, is this business really for me? Do I enjoy it? Do I like these people, even when things go tough? And second of all, you need to make sure you're a part of an agency that takes this stuff seriously. This is something that I've realized, and I'm so thankful that I have. This is not Kool-Aid drinking at all whatsoever. This is reinforcing the reality of the battle that we go into every day and being filled with enthusiasm and being reminded of our good work and to not take things that happen to us in a negative light too too strongly because that kind of mentality has a deleterious effect on our ability to be successful. So I hope this was meaningful to you and got some value out of it. If you're interested in looking at joining a final expense agency or just an agency that helps agents across the nation become successful, check out daviddufour.com. You'll see more information on how our agency works and to see if it's a good fit. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's training.